Scriptinage, which I've been um, I've been at it since 2007, and I focus on mostly style, a little bit of beauty, uh, some travel lifestyle type posts. So it's at unefemme.net if anyone's interested, if you haven't want to come check it out. It's a great blog. It's a fun blog. Some great trips on travel wardrobes. Been helpful for me, uh, even for, for me to compact that that suitcase and take it's hard to take only what you you know need really need so i will be it's, it's great for that and uh, so many other wonderful things all right let's do this okay so um brian mentioned that there's three of his products especially i mean there's more than that but there's three that are just have become my holy grail products and one of them is the illuminate and contour eye treatment and i'll put a little of that on now and I just, um, I, what I really like about this is it eliminates a lot of that, um, that crepey skin that I get right up there in the corners of my eyes. It really smooths that out and improves the texture. So I just, and I know I'm supposed to do this with my ring finger, but I just pat it around my orbital bone and then it gets where it needs to go. I don't apply directly onto the lid. And so, and then just kind of pat it in. And you can see already, it's kind of, um, it kind of gives a little bit of a, a glow there and that uh, dewy. And then um, this is one that um, Brian uh, gave me to try and I really like it. It's a uh, common protect moisture fluid. And there's also a common protect cream. And I usually use this one, but if it's really dry, this one can be really good too. Um, it's very, it, it really gives you a lot of moisture. So I'll put a little of this on. And there we go. And would you put your moisturizer on everything with your hands, correct? I do, yeah. I I don't usually bother with a brush for the, the skincare. Yep, um, it's great. So I got a lot on there. Um, just kind of rub that in and what i like about this it's really soothing and i tend to get my my skin i don't have rosacea but i tend to if i rub on my skin a lot it gets kind of red and so this kind of tones that tones down that redness in my skin yeah it's calming and cooling yeah it feels really good it feels really soothing um going on and the and other one this, is just a little heavier uh, and it's uh yeah, if you I have would, more rosacea it's 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 great for that, but it's just heavier. Yeah, and I, I've used this at night and I like this a lot at night. Um, and then this is another one of my Holy Grail products. This is Brian's Firming Neck and Throat Cream, which it really does work. And I've, you know, I've never had the smoothest neck on the planet, but this really does make a difference. And I could, I could tell after a couple weeks of using it and I just kind of, rub it in you can use it on your your decote and yeah, it's um, great for um if you have gotten a lot of sun damage it also will help with the sun damage if you're really red if you have that it'll help it's it's multifolded the main thing is it helps firm and take away the fine lines and you'll feel that but it is great for as she says the, the decollete it's great for that and area I, also. I did notice i ha used to have like a lot of kind of blotchy red on my neck and it really eliminated that and i it's not an issue anymore and then the last one this is the one that just blew me away when i used it um the recreation lip treatment because i have always had really really flaky chap lips and I started using this when we were skiing in Colorado. And if you've ever been to Colorado in the winter time, it's like bone dry. And I didn't have to apply any other lip balm the whole time I was there. I was just blown away by how well this stuff really works. And it moisturized, it, it, it's, it kind of um, plumps the lips a little bit. And I use it around the edge of the lip too. And it really kind of, um prevents those those fine uh lines from forming whistle whistle lines whistle lines, lines yeah. yeah 
So they help I if use this. the lines and fine lines. It's really great. Use it two, three, four times a day. Very quick, easy morning, night, and then maybe once or twice in the middle. And two, after two or three months of using that product, I have had many customers like, wow, they've noticed quickly, but it will fill, begin to fill in, bring back some collagen and moisture to that area. Uh, yeah. And the other thing that is too, is I, I think it's, it's, brought back some natural color to my lips too, that I have a lot more natural color in my lips than I did before I started using it. So. Yeah, and that was a point that I had been, that was brought to my attention many, many years ago. I had a, got an email from a, a, a customer that was sent through from you, Susan, that said, oh, that, wow, my lip color and it, I didn't know it did, that it had that property about it. She's like, my lip color has always been kind of muted and, you know, not a lot. And she goes, I have lip color, which was really yeah. great. Yeah. So then um, for a, a just regular daytime use, uh, this is the tinted primer. And you could use this under foundation, I guess, but I, I don't find I need to. I find that this is all I really need. Um, for for most days and it just kind of evens out my skin tone now this i will use a brush on and i don't have a mirror brian i forgot to grab a mirror so i'm doing no this yeah, just on great. screen that's great and this also has a spf 20 so I, usually i would also use a, a a pretty heavy duty spf most days yeah. and this has an spf 20 in it so it's a nice little extra bit of bit of uh, sun protection. Yep. So put some up here. And again, I'm working without a mirror. So I should no probably, worries. when we get to doing the eyes, I'm going to have to go grab my mirror. I totally forgot. And you, you guys, something about the, uh, 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 about the, the, the tinted primer, the tinted primer uh, has both a physical and a chemical, uh, and I use the word chemical uh, uh, more of a, uh, what's the other word? Uh, interior block. So it has uh, octanoxate, seven and a half percent and titanium di dioxide of 5%, which is great because you have, you're gonna get both the, a, 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 a barrier block and the chemical block, which goes uh, more into the skin and helps uh, uh, prevent skin, uh, the damage from the sun. Then additionally, just FYI, uh, my lighting is a little bad. I have underwear sunscreen, which I am a huge fan, a, a huge uh, advocate of sunscreen for all. No matter where you live, it is the number one thing to prevent uh, aging, skin, uh, dryness, uh, uh fall you know crepiness fine lines skin cancer <laughs> skin cancer yeah let's talk you know let's get straight to the point my underwear sunscreen is one is a is a blend of uh it's mainly uh titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and then uh, and that's spf 30 and then there's also my spf 50 super radiant skin protection which is uh, all of a, it's, it's a, it's a blend of all of the, uh, other, other non, uh, physical blocks. And I want to add one other thing about sunscreen. Brian, while you're talking about that, I'm going to go grab my mirror. Go ahead. Uh, the other sunscreen item that is very, uh, popular or uh, very important and that I do have a, a, and I go back and forth between this is, and the tinted primer she would use light tinted primer, but in the liquid mineral tint, she would use 12 spring glow. And this has a, is a 100% uh, physical sunblock. It has titanium and uh, zinc oxide both. It's completely a, uh, a physical bl blocker. So that's just a little, uh, information about sunblock. I always like to prom uh, talk to you about that and share that. This, this is a big thing. We, we come out of our summer. Some of you may see this if you're down, you know, down under or South America, wherever, and you're coming into your summer. Uh, so, but it is the number one way to prevent aging and cancer. So, 
uh, all of those are great. And, and one of the things also, just FYI, one thing I have been doing through the pandemic is I'll send out samples. If you purchase either a tinted primer or a liquid mineral tint, or even my skin stick foundation, I send out samples if you want uh, for you to try, and then I'll send out the actual color that you choose. So, all right, Susan. Okay, so um, the one thing I never, I, my, I always do a little brow filling in um, before I go anywhere. <laughs> Um, cause I find that the brows are really help give your face some definition. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hold this and do it here so that people can see. So I'm using your, um, your brow pencil in, uh, natural taupe. Yep. And, um, that's a, a nice little natural color and it's got this nice little spoolie on the end. So I just kind of fill in where the hairs are a little bit like that. And the other thing, you know, I think most of us find that our, our brows get thinner as we get older and they kind of, or they kind of grow unevenly. And um, this, it really helps to kind of just do a little kind of, filling in on those so they're yeah oh makes it it's makes such a huge difference right yeah yeah makes it it's it's i i just said to somebody it makes me feel more present you know it's yeah have those filled in now so i guess yep go ahead go ahead for, well for every day um i would probably um just do a little bit i really like your um, your eyeshadow firefall, it's like a little bit shimmery, coppery. And so I usually just put like a tiny little bit of this on my lid, just because it brightens up that eye area. And again, I'm sorry. And notice know. how she's keeping it really simple. She's using a, 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 uh, her finger. So she could use her finger if she wanted to be more accurate. I have a, a, a kit for the holidays. She could use uh, the, it's, the brush is called shadow blend. Which yeah. And if I'm doing any do. kind of, any kind of, you know, more than this, I, I definitely use the brush to, to get a little more accurate, but just a little bit of this on the lid and it kind of brightens up my eye area. Yeah. I and like that. I it kind of has a peachy tone, right? A little yeah, soft, kind of a coppery, tone. pretty coppery. Yeah. Yep. And yep. then, um, my mirror's dying. <laughs> and then a little mascara. And that would be it for me for, and, and probably a little blush, but this would be all I would do on the eyes. You do mascara without eyeliner, uh, just because the mascara kind of does a little bit of double two fold. It gives you a little lining and just f fills in the, it just kind of yeah, does the trick. I I tend to not, I know we've, we've had this discussion many times for day, everyday use. I usually don't put on eyeliner. If I'm doing a little more of a, you know, dressed up look, I need, I, I do. Um, and I will have to go get my eyeliner out because I forgot to grab it. We, I was going to be over at Brian's place today and we had some, some things came up. And so I'm having to do this remotely. So I'm Which we we've done them in the past. I've, those of you that have attended before, it works quite well. Actually, I've found this doing one on ones with people through Zoom or FaceTime actually surprisingly works. You don't get my touch. You don't get that, but you do get my direction. I can I can yeah. definitely guide you. Uh, it's live, unlike a YouTube watching a YouTube makeup video, yeah. which is not easy. And then the last thing that I would probably do other than the lipstick is just a little bit of blush. Um, Cause it just kind of gives you that nice little glow. And I just tap a little tiny bit on my fingers and then just right there on the apple of the cheek for like a really natural look. And then perfect. I would do the and what lipstick. color that was again? Um, this is the um, Dahlia. This is yeah. this one. You could yeah. tell it's got my fingerprints all over it. Cause I yeah. use it all the time. <laughs> But that's Dahlia. So that, that would be like, you know, and then um, 
the one lipstick I've been using is your Pasego Puro, but I've also like been liking this this one called Gloriously, which is your new one, because it's yeah. a nice little daytime color. Yep. And and it's a little more saturated in color than the uh, than you uh, than the Pasego Puro. Pasego Puro is a sh kind of sheer moisture one, yeah. more sheer. And something we talked about, I was overdoing her hair a couple, few weeks back and brought her the lipsticks to try out. And uh, uh, thought, thinking you thought maybe it would, maybe it would dry. It would get a little drier, but in yeah. actuality, mm -mm. It's, it doesn't. It's, I'm real wary of, of lipsticks that are highly pigmented because I find they can be a little drying after a while or they can get cakey. And this one does not at all. This one stays on really nice. It's yeah so it's good uh, and it feels good on my lips it doesn't feel like it gets dry or anything i like that color a lot actually and it gives you color uh, yeah but it's not too much it's not too much for like daytime which is what i like this is a nice yeah. little just put it on and go out you know yeah it's great great yeah. great great simple very yep. simple if you wouldn't would you use concealer at all I tend not to, but you know, I, I probably could, but I, I just tend not to. It's I teach I'm, I'm Brian, you know me. I'm 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 lazy. But you know what I would do is like I would take where is it? This is the one cream on the top. Uh-huh. The eyeshadow. I would take a little bit um and just put it because I wear glasses and it can also cast shadows. And I would just put a little bit right in that inner corner of my eye. A little under the eye, under the lash, just that that kind of a C, a C kind of in a direction. Yeah, of a, or like a little V, a little a U or V, v. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of just like gives you a little brightness. Yeah, it just it just brightens up that area a little bit. Because I do yeah. tend to get a little bit of a shadow right there, but I I yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you you know how we've had this conversation. I'm I'm lazy and I don't put on a lot of makeup every day, for yeah. every day. I love glamming her up, <laughs> but <laughs> but but which it's it's fun. But it, you know, I know I know she wears uh, Susan wears very similar things over and over and keeps it very simple, but yeah. just something very soft and easy and wearable. Yeah. Yeah. Could you put that lipstick that I know sometimes you could walk out the door with Pasego Puro in your hand and you wouldn't even need a mirror to put it on. No. Could you do that with Gloriously too? No, this one I think it because it's more pigmented and you you have in your little kit this little lip brush. Cause I was saying what I would probably do is use a lip brush. And this one is really cool. Yeah. Um, Cause it's got, it's retractable. Yeah, it saves the brush it. from from because a lot of lip brushes don't have this and it and it pop, pops it up and uh let me see if i can get it in the screen you can probably demonstrate it a little better than i can yeah what's cool is when you take this out that the it drops down let me get yeah. myself here it drops the brush down and you can put this on the top and it saves it so it doesn't get all frayed i know my lip brushes get frayed so much and then when you put this on the end it pops the lip brush up it's and it's great it's which it's is really great because then you can throw it in your purse you can throw it in your makeup bag and it's not going to get gooey it's not going to get you know little pieces of lint stuck to it yeah yeah it's really good and yep um you know and and a lipstick like this you could also if i were really gonna kind of beef this up a little bit I'd, I'd use a lip liner with it but it really doesn't need one it stays it stays put really well and it gives it a, the lips a nice little bit of definition great love it perfect so, so now you're gonna take over <laughs> uh so i have a, a lot do you want what do you want to do i uh you know um, what let's do let's do sort of like a nighttime eye a little yes, bit of a nighttime light eye, light. like if I were going out and. So you guys, these are the colors. 
So here's Mossy Sensation. It's a beautiful green. It has a bit of goldish tone to it. That's one great color. And I, reason I love this color is it kind of, it can work on a lot of people. It, it tends to uh, uh, work on a lot of, a lot of uh, us in the skin tone that we're we're in. Uh, then there's another uh, color, which is called br uh, br uh, Bronze Lights, which is also a great color. It also, uh, it's a little more shimmery and a little more pigmented than the uh, Firefall. Yeah. And both of these two colors, we're, I'm just kind of showing you guys before I choose what we're gonna do. Both of these colors go great with a little pop of, uh, of let me see if I can get this to, a little, uh, this is hard. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I have a harder time, easier time on, on Instagram. Uh, and then this color gold drip goes really well with this. The, the green is kind of blowing out a little bit from my light. Then there's a color called pinched penny, which I actually love. It's kind of a cranberry-ish color, yeah. which these two colors go great with each other. Surprising enough, I did it in my last event. Uh, this is, uh, I can, you can put the pinch penny first and then put the bronze lights over the top and they go well together. If you're a little cooler, uh, pinch penny with, uh, this lavendery shimmery, it's blowing out. Let me turn my one light down a little bit. It has like a soft lavender, uh, it's called dancing queen. So these two will go great. Yeah, you can see the color, the tone in your, the tone is a little truer in your, in your yeah. lighting system. Yeah. Then there's finally uh, this color, which is called Astro Fizz, which is a nice kind of a bluish, but blue green and it's shimmery, but it doesn't, you know, you, you like can put it on very- It's like what, uh, a peacock or- ex Exactly, exactly. And it, it, it doesn't have to go heavy. Yeah. And then uh, cream on the top is always in a line, but it's a great uh, everyday sh uh, uh, new neutral color. And I wanted to talk, there's also a, a new color called Almost Naked, which is in the line. The other colors I've just talked about are all limited, but the uh, the uh, Almost Naked and cream on the top are, are going to be in the line. Plus, Mossy Sensation will stay. It's limited right now, but for sure it will stay. So let's go with... Um, uh, let's take the bronze, the bronze lights. Okay. And where let's do I put, put that? that? We're going to do that right on the lid. So you're going to okay. grab the color. This is how I would teach you. You're going to take the eyeshadow and uh, you would pull the eyeshadow across on your flat brush, your shadow blend, br uh, shadow blend brush, and just kind of tap it off into the, into the container. So you don't have too much fallout. Then with the brush, up, uh, facing up and down with the bristles downward, you're just going to put it onto the lid. You're just gonna okay. kind of tap it in right above the lash line and fill the lid with that color. And you don't, you're not gonna go too high with it. Yeah. And then you're gonna clean the brush off if you have a tissue or anything to clean it off on. Just clean the brush off on a tissue. Uh-huh. Just like, yeah. And then go in and just kind of soften that color right at that, uh, at the line up to up and towards. So you just kind of soften it out. So it's not too, too, too. I think I got maybe a little too much on there, but. Yeah, they, because of that silky smooth shadow, they're very, uh, yeah, it's fine. You know, it's, I like it, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's dramatic. It is. And uh, it's going to be, we're glamming it up. One yeah. thing I always teach people is, is if I was to take my lower lash line and keep it going in like an exaggerated line, I would like to keep everything above that. So another thing to do is from the corner of your brow to the corner of your eye. If you connect those, that's kind of a nice line of demarcation to keep your eye shadow above that, to keep your eye lifted. So go ahead okay. and do the other eye, Susan, with the bronze lights. Okay. Yeah, the, the nice thing about these shadows is they almost feel like a cream. Uh huh. And they go on very creamy, and they do pull up a lot of pigment. So 
I teach to tap the color into the eye, not brush it. And you notice she's just tapping it in. Because when you start brushing your eyeshadow, it can make a bigger mess on the face. Yeah. You know, it, you know, it is a brush, but you don't have to brush, brush, brush with it. Okay, so I've cleaned it and I'm gonna just kind of carve out and clean, bring clear part technically kind of it's almost taking away a little bit and pulling it up into the crease a little bit. Okay. Do you have smooth operator with you? Uh, the, yes, I do. Yeah. So you you could use the same brush. Uh, you guys a shout. Yep. So that's a neutral everyday color. Now you're going to take a little bit of that and get rid of the hooded eye a little bit. And the way to get rid of the hooded eye is, let me show you guys. I'll do it on myself also. Let me grab that color. Um, I'm going to use my flat brush. It's the same brush that's in the in the in my, my holiday kit. So I'm going to grab a little color on the kind of the tip, back and forth on the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to tap it off. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to look right into the mirror and I don't have a mirror, but notice I have a hooded eye myself right here. You can see that that skin, if I pull up a little bit, you can begin to see, oh yeah, that dro droops over. So if I look straight into the mirror, which I don't have a mirror, but I'm just kind of looking into the camera and I'm going to peek, peek every so often. Instead of opening your eye and doing all that, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to put the eyeshadow right over the top of that part that's hooded. And then you can kind of lift your chin up and start to put it into the crease and float the color up a little bit onto the brow bone so that it starts to hide, it starts to hide that uh, that hooded part. And this will just give it a nice framing. I think I need to get. I had someone that was trying to log in, and I'm not sure if they got in, uh, but they sent a message through my chat. And let me see if. Uh... Kev. Can you come here? Can you send her maybe a grab, find that information maybe in my email or just send her the login information to the Zoom meeting? So how's that? Yeah, it's nice. Nice. So you can see you guys, it's not easy to see, but it begins to soften the hooded eye. And this is a great color, uh, smooth operator to soften the eye. Yeah, and Soften I use I use this I use this one um, when I do when I do a, the the hooded eye makeup. Yeah. So now I need a little, and now I need the mirror over here. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm really nearsighted, and I have to get that mirror like right up. <laughs> No, that actually is a great angle right there where you're at. That's it, it, we can't see that, but we can see what you're doing. Very no, you can see very well what we're doing. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, good. So then, so what that does, and it also helps the lid color, which is dramatic, mm -hmm. be less dramatic, right? Mm -hmm. It gives that nice uh, uh, dramatic and then goes to a bit of a lighter tone. Mm -hmm. So let's take, do you have eyeliner with you? I don't, Brian. You know what? The brown one that I had broke. Oh shoot! Do you have a black one? Anyone? Um, black? Yeah, but what I'm gonna have? have to go dig it out. It's gonna take me a couple minutes to dig it out. Grab out. Go grab an eyeliner, and okay. then we'll, and no, no problem. I'll chit. I'll, I've got plenty to talk about. <laughs> so you guys, let me sh show you um, what uh, another color combination that I love. This is Mossy Sensation. And uh, I would have the Illuminate and Contour Eye Treatment, which is, I, I love to use this as a primer. It does prime the eye. And when I put this on, I'll put it on my pinky finger first, a little drop right there. 
And that allows me to drop it right in this corner. And then I kind of tap it in and under the skin, uh, under the eye. And then I put it on the pad of the pinky finger. So there are two drops. And then I put it right on the lid and I put it on the lid and then I pull that color, that, that luminating contour up to the eye. I'm gonna show them a quick different color. So I'm using the, uh, the luminating contour as a eye primer. And I'm just gonna take my, 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 my brush and just kind of soften it. Next, you guys, I'm gonna take uh, Mossy Sensation. Right on the pat one side of my shadow blend brush, I am gonna use mirror because I, I, I could make this a mess. And I start right at the corner and I just tap this color right in. Now, notice the reason I do it this way with the, eye sh the, the, the shadow, the, the brush facing downward is it allows me to get right into the lashes. And then I lift my, my elbows coming up I have green eyes, so this is gonna be great with green eyes. I come to the corner, now you can see it on the eye. I flip the brush and I carve out the almond of the eye, okay? So the lid is filled with that color, Mossy Sensation. Now I'm gonna clean the brush off. This is my little tip and trick. Clean the brush off completely so that powder is off use the same brush and just soften it right through the crease. Now I would go with uh, either, I could take a uh, smooth operator and another way to do uh, work on your hooded eye is take the smooth operator, it's right on the tip of the brush and pull the color from the crease up upward towards the eye just kind of building it up on that brow bone and that's gonna push it onto that skin that wants to fold over. Because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to uh, conceal uh, uh, that, that skin, make it kind of go away. So you can see that begins to give some, so then next, I would take a little bit of the gold drip, which will be great for the color she's using also. I'll take it with my finger, take gold drip right on my pinky finger and put it right in the middle of here just to give this a little bit of brightness. But bef yeah, right on the lid. And that just pops that lid, just, just gives it a little bit of bling. So let's do eyeliner. I'm gonna grab, I like black or brown. Did, what did you, did you find a black or a brown? I found the black. Okay. I, have, I, I know you. Uh, I, think I, I think I used up the brown one, I think. <laughs> got it. So both brownstone or pitch black are great. And so everybody, this, what's nice about this, this pencil is it's very creamy at first and you can smudge it and make it smoky. And I'll show you in a minute how you can, how it just sets, really sets down on the eye. So let me show you guys what, how this goes. And she's gonna do the same thing, but I'll do it first here. So you take your eyeliner and you take your pinky finger and you uh, rest it on the side of your, uh, on your face. And you just take the liner and you go back and forth in between the lashes. And you can see my lashes are moving. And what that does is if you put the eyeliner right on that skin, it's called tight lining. And this really is the trick. I've been doing workshops for over 10, 12 years, been doing makeup for 20. And this trick is the one that women say, okay, I can go home now. I just learned something that I've never done before. That really is, because even with everyday eye, eye look, if you don't wanna wear mascara, you can do this eyeliner technique and it makes a huge difference. So if you're gonna go super glam, you would take the eyeliner all the way into the center of the eye. If you, but you don't have to, you could just kind of stop where the lashes stop growing.
Next, what you do is you take a little bit of the eyeliner and you put it on the upper, right above, just on the outside, just put a little dot on the outside and then take your the smudger and kind of smudge it up and, uh, and inward just to make it a little soft and a little smoky so that it just gives a little bit of drama to the outside of the eye. Now, this is good for me because I'm terrible with trying to line my my eyes. You know? Yeah. So what's on good the outside? For you? Trying to you know the, the the upper up top. You're saying yeah. or just yeah, yeah. No, when I try to if I try to line above the lashes, forget it. I it I, makes a, it's hard to make it work, right? And so yeah, the smoke just making it soft and smoky is so much easier. It's this technique yeah. I've been doing forever. It's like I don't use liquid liner. I use liquid liner for, I do use a cream, my cream liner. I will, it's really a gel. Uh, my, my, my gel liner, I'll use it with an angle brush. Uh, but I can, I'll also make that smoky too. But putting a little bit on the outside and, and then smudging it is such a great technique because it makes it easy. It doesn't make it hard and it gives a little bit of drama on the outside of the eye. Then you have a little bit of residue of liner left in the sponge. So if you wanted to, you could just go to the lower lash line and just kind of go softly back and forth under into the lashes on the lower lash line below the lashes, just to give it a soft little softness. It doesn't have to be heavy duty. It can be really gentle there. Uh, if you want to add more, that's fine, but it just goes right under the lashes. It's just, it's really simple. Now, Brian, I now, want to try, I want to try something. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Let's do it. Um, I want to take, uh, where did that other little brush go? Oh, I want to try doing a little bit of the shadow as a liner. Yes. And I'm going to do the, your, this one. Okay, the uh, Astro Fizz. Yeah. Are you I'm using just... the angle brush? Huh? No. Should I use the angle brush? I was use gonna the angle. Do it. I was going to do it underneath. Use the angle. Would... It'll give you more okay. control. Yep. Yep. Okay. The line to find. Okay. Let me. Great. So this is another technique, you guys. It's very gr great that she's doing this. So she's going to use an eyeshadow as an eyeliner. A fun kind of color combination, that little bit of blue green opposite the uh, bronzy lights, the bronze color. How does that work? Good, and I think. So, and you could go as glam as you want. You can go heavy or lower. Or less. Now, another thing, you guys, if you add eye, a, a, a pinch of the eyeliner, the pitch black or the brownstone, under the eye, when you go to put this eyeshadow on, it has something to stick to a little bit more. Also, FYI, if you want it to be darker, you want it to be heavier, put a little bit of black eyeliner or brown eyeliner and then put the eyeshadow over the top and it gives it something to hold on to. Let's take that same angle brush, Susan, and that same color you just used. Okay. Astrophys, and let's just take a little pinch of it. I'm gonna use a different color, but think of me using that color. I'm gonna use uh, bronzy lights, but you're gonna do Astro Fizz. And I'm gonna just put it on the, 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 the edge of the brush, on the, okay. just on the, yep. Tap it off. And I'm gonna go into the angle, right on the top, right where we put eye the, eye the eyeliner, where we smudged it, okay. just in the corner, just to kind of fill in and make the, give a little depth to the outer portion of the eye so that it kind of gives it a little contour. So right above the lashes and to the crease, just a pinch and just kind of pulling it over. And it just gives it a little more depth and drama in that corner. It's actually really pretty with the, um, with the copper. It's hard to see in this light. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, what I was, what I was going to do is I was going to do this with the pinched penny because bronze light and pinched penny work so well, but I love it, you know, 
That actually is a fun combination. It's a peachy, bronzy tone with a blue green. That's great. Great. It's good with That's my the, eye color too. It's a great with your eye color, right? Sorry, my really lighting good. is not great, but. But the, the, the technique, you guys, is pulling, is coming into this corner with the angle brush right above the lashes after you put your eyeliner on and then carving out this corner. Now, if you want it really dramatic, this is where you'd use uh, my color called Inky, which is a black, or, um, oh, I took it away, but I have another a Starry Night, which is black. Uh, Verde, which is a, a deep green also, uh, less blue green, but any dark color in that corner can really add a nice dra 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 dramatic and glam, glam look. The eyeliner is the key. Perfect. You would curl your lashes if you hadn't already put mascara on. Uh, and you I always I always curl my lashes every day, even if I'm not going to wear makeup, because it just makes me look more awake. You know, it's interesting. I had a, a new I had a, a client in last week. She's been she, I, 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 I don't know how old she is. I would say she's probably it's hard to know. I can't tell, but her and her husband have recently sold their home in Pasadena and they're staying in an Airbnb Airstream in Echo Park. Oh, neat. The kids are gone. They're retired, but she doesn't look of retirement age, but what does that mean? Doesn't mean nothing. But so she came, she came to a workshop and, um, I did, I asked her, have you ever used a, a lash curler? Never. And, uh, she, and one of the things I asked her when we first started was, what do you, you know, what do you want to learn? And what's, what, if you look at yourself, something I oftentimes will say is, you know, if you look in the mirror, what, what, not that, not that we have to focus on what we don't like, but we can, we like, oh, what, what, how oh, I feel like I look tired. Well, we did a similar, we did a natural look and, uh, and with the eyeliner and in the Cree uh, doing a, a hooded eye and that immediately made her look much more open. She was shocked. You can even see what the difference between my eyes. This one is more yeah. droopy, droopy. And this one you can see is more open with that. Then we did mascara and I said, let's do a little bit of curling. Your her lashes curled so beautifully. I was like, oh, wow. Because not everybody's lashes curl easily. And I put that lash curler on and I always tell you people just kind of land it down and in and grab, put it in and rest the metal against and then just hold the lash curler right up against your skin as close without pinching your skin and hold it as long as you need. And I curled her lashes curled so beautifully. Then I put the mascara on. She was like, oh my gosh, she was blown away <laughs> at how open she looked wide awake. Yeah, wide awake. It makes, it it makes was, a huge it difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. All right, let's go on. So would you do anything else with your eyes? No, that there. would probably be it. You know, maybe a little highlighter on, on the brow bone. So you take take a little bit of the um the the uh the cream on the top, which you used earlier in the okay. inside corner and yeah. put it on right under the eyebrow uh, as a little highlighter. Yeah. Yep, just right in there, just very slight. Yeah. And something I teach people is sometimes I'll use the angle brush actually. Like say if I used to use cream on the top, I'll just put it right on the, on the, on the angle brush. So now it's very tight and controlled and I'll go right into the brow. I actually push right in the, the high point of the arch. I push some of that, that light color right into the brow. And, I'll, and I usually do the brows last. So, so it's fine. Then I can put brow, brow you know, color on. 
Let's do this one last little tip and trick that I'm gonna teach people. Take some of your tinted primer, put it out, uh, put it, I don't know where you would put, uh, put it maybe on your, your hand. Okay. And you're going to take the concealer brush, which is uh, the, in, in, yep. And let me show you first. I'll do it on myself and then you can do it. So this is my trick that I always show people and they're always kind of blown away by this. The final, the final part of, of doing this, of this job is all the way around and then a little bit right from under, un, under the brow. And then if you don't have a foundation brush, but I will use my foundation brush, you can use this brush. I then just kind of tap this color in and it just cleans up all of the, anything that's been made a mess of. It's a great, it's like concealing, but you're using the actual color that you use as a foundation. So you're using the tinted primer color that you would put on your skin at this point, or if you put it on first, that's totally fine. But I find doing this, I have a little, I have a lot extra, so I'm just going to Put it on my skin and just give myself a little glow i'm using light actually on my skin which i'm not light i'm more of a medium but because it's sheer it works it's it's very forgiving so if you if you don't feel like you're as light as susan you would use medium and if you feel like uh which i would be more medium i usually do put this on after i've done the eyes this is the point where i do the the uh, the the foundation or the tinted primer, and I find what I like to call it is cleanup. It's the cleanup of the eye. Yeah, it really does make a difference. It does. You're right. It cleans it up. It freshens it up. It polishes it up. That's good. I I I'd forgotten about that one. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna start doing that one again. It's a good trick, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I just kind of picked it up. My, I was, you know, after a while, it, it, I just started doing it. And I didn't learn. I've learned a lot of things from a lot of people, but it was my little thing that I just came upon. Let's do, um, I would do a little bit, maybe a little more blush, just a pinch okay. more blush. Do you want to play with the new lipsticks? Do you want to show yeah, those? Let's, let's play with the new lipsticks. Put some we're, blush we're on. Coming up on we're lipsticks. coming up on an hour, so. Let's do it. Okay. We're going to float through the lipsticks that are the new lipsticks, you guys. Uh, sh she'll show you the ones that work well for her skin tone that she loves. And then we'll flip over to, the, so the first one she has on is the lightest of the, th of the three that's in her family tone family. Uh, she's using my dual action makeup remover, which will literally take it off with no problem. It just, it'll, it'll just come right off. Yep. Yep. Let's show us the. Huh? I don't want to see the pad. Let's see how easy. Yep. Easy. Great. What was the next? See, we have Lavish Oxide. And Fall Crush. Fall Crush Fall is crush. the med medium one and Lavish Oxide is the darkest. Which one's a little more orangey? Fall Crush. Fall Crush. And, and I'm gonna that, use your I'm gonna use your little brush with this one because it's it's darker. So yep. It's nice and this, to get And you're using brush. what are you using fall crush or fall crush? Fall crush first. Okay. I really like this color for like a, a real pop. Yeah. Hang on. Is this is the one you fit we put on your lips when I was finishing your color you you put on last I think right? yeah I really like this one this is this one is is a nice if you're if you don't want red red but you want something you know in your warm skin tone this is a great yeah color and I found it with even you didn't have any any makeup on that day it worked beautiful it was like it was yeah. so it felt so natural on you yeah that's it you know what I'm, this is going to take forever. So I'm just going to. It's yeah. That's the one thing about a brush, a brush, it takes longer, but a brush will give you more precision. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that is Fall Crush. Yeah, I really like this. I love that color. It's great. Yeah, and this is again, if even if I were not wearing any other makeup, you know, I could put this on and I would feel like I was, you know, really done. Yes. I love that color. I love that. I don't this color is so great. It's yeah. And if you have if you're warm tone, this is a this is a good one if you don't want to wear a red red. Yep. If you don't want to wear a red red, you, still, red, get, this is the you color. still get that, oh, she's wearing red lipstick look, you know. Yep, very true. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Lavish oxide. I get a fresh. And I would wear this during the day too. This one I would wear during the day. It's totally wearable during the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too dark to, that, you, that you would feel like it was too heavy. For yeah. Day. Yep. Great. Okay. So she's going. This was what she, uh, what she, she had on was the the uh, fall crush and now to the lavish oxide and this one when i he first showed this to me i went oh no this is too blue but um it's a little to see is that is it lavish oxide uh-huh yeah yeah there's no blue in it i don't think it kind of looks blue in the tube but it's not it's it's a brown it's a brownie bricky color and it's a little yeah a little more brownie bricky What I like to do with these really more pigmented colors is I just kind of I kind of press them in and then um, blot. Yeah. Nice. That light helps a lot. That's great. You look yeah. great. Yeah, you look great. Really nice. That tinted primer, the the blush. You have a nice glow glow mm -hmm. on your skin. That color is great too. Yeah, they're similar, but this it's just I would, a little... I would wear probably more for nighttime. Yeah, it has a little more. It's that deeper it's brown. Dramatic. It's deeper. It's more dramatic. So I would probably wear this at nighttime. Right. But it's a great color. I, I mean, it works I, on you. Yeah. Yeah. OK, let's do the I want you to do Roma nights next. The red, the red, which you we didn't do. I know. OK. We're into this. It's a red. Susan says there's too much blue in it. Um, <laughs> Susan doesn't like colors with too much blue. She doesn't go towards the cool family, which is totally fine. Uh, I find it to be still bricky. Yeah, it just it just for me, it, you know, it depends on the other tone. Romanite. I dropped it off earlier today for her to have, so she has the other colors. In her, she has the glorious lavish oxide and the uh, fall crush, but this one she she hasn't even. This is the first time trying it on, so it'll be fun to hear and see. It's blue. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a, a pinky blue undertone. Uh huh. Well, the red, you know, red is hard because red. For me, if if it if it doesn't have an orange be, yellow base, it, it looks yellow it has to be that yellow base for sure. Yeah. My manufacturer says it does have yellow base. This <laughs> does not. Nah. -uh. And something to unknow, uh, your lips pull blue fast. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Your, your underlying tone in your lips. So it's pretty. It looks much brighter than I would think. It's a pretty red, but it yeah. is a pretty red. It it's just I feel like it's a little uh, for me because I I have everything else is warm. Yes, it, it still feels a little too contrasty. Well, so that's Roman nights, and now let's put the last but one on. For that. you ladies, you winters, you summers, you cool toned people, this one is. And if you're looking for a hot red, a new red, it's great. How's the texture? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's like it's 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 not as it's not balmy, but it's not drying. It's just it feels really, you know, smooth on very satin. It's very satin. It's yeah, not it, a matte. It's not a no. matte lip. And it's considered a matte, but it's not really a true. true no, matte. it's if you 
You can you see have it. a little sheen to it, a, a little bit. Yep, I can see it. Yeah, That's it's great. got yep. a little. It's got a little bit of a satiny finish. It's not a. It's not a matte matte. But it's super saturated in color. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And now let's try the one that you would never wear. <laughs> <laughs> it says first squeeze, you guys, but I do I've for you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I said the things I do for you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> the only way for you guys to see these things is I need to find a warm mo a wa model that's warm that will that will oh, well cool excuse me that uh yeah. Oop, I yeah. just got it all over myself hang on this color it says the the container says she has a container that says first squeeze but it's actually first crush it was intended I went back and forth between two names first squeeze and first crush and I've been talking about it as first crush as if it would be the first crush of grapes yeah. in a harvest. Okay. Um, for, but it's squeezed. Romanite. First squeeze. Okay, first crush. Yeah, and it's very, um, let me show you guys. It's very, it, the tube makes it look like it would be dark 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 but it's not as dark as you it's think it's a berry it's kind of a it's berry it's really a berry it really is a berry it's, it's kind pretty. of plummy berry yeah. it is pretty right yeah it's it not is. it's not my color but it's pretty yeah and it's not dark dark right uh -uh. The, the tube makes it look it makes it look just like dark like vampy mm -mm. you'd think it was vamp red no, it's got a really pretty pink. Yes. Berry to it. Uh huh. If you like a berry lipstick, you'd like you'd like this one. Yeah, I like it. I actually like it. It'll be great for uh, like a Christmas party, a holiday party, and mm -hmm. New Year's. Or or if you like plummy and you just like a little more lip color on your lips, great for every day. If you're mm -hmm. a, if this is your family. This you would love be the darker wear. skin. Darker skin. This would probably be gorgeous on you. For everybody. Yeah. yeah. And if you maybe if you are wearing this, I would maybe use blooming sh uh, blush on instead of the dahlia. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the blooming is pinkier. Uh, it'll go on really great. So, um, oh, one last thing. Uh, just take um, just pull take that off really quick and put back on the your favorite one, the either the lavish oxide or the um, uh, or the uh, uh, fall crush. Uh, fall, fall crush. Either one. Do you do you have a gloss with you there? I do not. Okay. Well, this gloss would go great. Which is, I think you have it. Uh, Glow baby. It's a. I think I used it all up. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I think I I went through that one. It will work really beautifully with Fall Crush or Lavish Oxide because it's this really, um, it's just super, uh, it's sheer, but it's gold. And it just will give you a nice, uh, I should have left one with you when I came over this morning. I didn't uh, even think of it. I didn't even think about it either. I thought you had it last time because we put a little drop of it right in the middle of your. Uh, I thought we did. Not when, not when you were here. Well, not when you dropped these off. No, maybe when we just talked about it. I yeah. think we talked about it, just to lighten it up. Great, lavish oxide. So, uh, glow baby gloss would go beautifully with that. Yeah. Let me see if we have any questions here. Uh, it is more pigmented person of Flor de Estrella. Did I see? Yeah, yeah. Um, see. Yeah, Flor de Estrella, it is. You're right, uh, uh, Andrea. So let me show you. Flor de Estrella, uh, uh, Susan, you, uh, uh, was it a, 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 an Estee Lauder or a Clinique color? Remember you black honey. It's like a more honey. pigmented version of black honey. Yes. So here's Flor de Estrella, very sheer, very balmy. Uh, 
looks super dark in the tube. Let me, where am I at? Super dark in the tube. Here is, um, I just forgot the name. For, first crush right, and I'm just trying to get my camera right. First crush right next to it. So let me put it on my, look at the difference in color. The, the, it looks, the, the Florida Estrella looks dark in the tube, but it's very sheer. And black honey, uh, black honey, is that what it was? Mm -hmm. uh, they look, it looks like it would be dark, but it's not. Yeah. This one is much more berry, plummy, yeah. the first crush. And I just so want, I was going to say, Brian, I think I mentioned this to you, but when we were in Italy, one thing I noticed was um, e even though they were still required to wear masks indoors, when women would sit down and have lunch, a lot of women were wearing a, a red lip or, a, you know, a berry lip. Just a lot of women were wearing a real... Um, very beautiful chic women and they were wearing the lipstick so i love that flying yes. the flag baby <laughs> exactly i think i i remember going out to brunch when we were in mexico city and we went to this really beautiful place that was right on the lake in the park and it was chic it was totally chic and there was just sh ladies out for brunch and they uh, they were all, you know, the nice thing is you sit down at a table and everybody takes their mask off and uh, they had lip, everyone was wearing lips. I, yeah. I remember that too. I was like, and I'm, I'm, I'm a lipstick girl, so I love to see it. <laughs> yes. Yep. Any questions, you guys, I'm going to uh, just open it up for just a, a quick minute. If anyone wants to chime in, I did. We answered one uh, question in the chat. Uh, uh let's see i looked down in the chat there weren't any other questions anything you have uh, else to say susan anything you'd like to add no thanks this has been fun and you know what i i may not want to give you back the astro thing oh wow that's cool that it's a fun I color like it. Right? i like it as a as a liner you know yeah it's a fun it's a fun look and it's a pretty color yeah, it is a pretty good. And, and the funny thing about these types of colors that uh, my lighting really blows it out. This one light. Yeah, I'm here, bring I'll hold it, it up. It's, yeah. it's really a, it's, a, oh, I just got all of my fingers. Uh, it's really a, a very tealy color. Yeah. And, and it has a shimmer to it, but what's nice yeah. is it can go on very. Um, yeah. Oh, you, you know what? I, I just want to say, because I hear this from, from women on my blog a lot of time is, you know, or you see this women over 50 shouldn't wear shimmery eyeshadow. And I say, Feh, on that, you probably don't want to wear it, you know, from lashes to brow, but you absolutely can wear a little bit of shimmer. It's so much fun. And, you know, don't be afraid of it. Yeah. And I, it's one of the things I say about wearing shimmer is um, if you have a lot of crepiness up here on your above or in your crease, you may want to be cautious with you wearing uh, too bright of a shimmer there because it will accentuate that. And the lid is a real great place to add a shimmery punch, yeah. punch of color. The nice thing about a shimmer is it brightens the eyes so much. It's what it does. It really gives mm -hmm. brightness to the eyes. So yeah, great. Well, that concludes it. You guys, Thank I'm going to uh, let you guys know, uh, I'm going to send you out an email uh, for anyone that wants to uh, any of the items that we've talked about. I'm going to create two kits. One kit's going to create have everything in it, and I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to have 40% off that kit. Then I'm going to have one that's a little more scaled back with what uh, Susan put on her eyes, uh, on your face, the, the original, just a, a, the, a simple look. Uh, that'll be a 20% off. And then anything else that you'd like to purchase uh, will be... Um, a uh, 15% uh, discount. It'll be a, a, about th three days uh, th th through Tuesday that you'll be able to do that. I'll send it out in an email. The 40% uh, the will be glam 40 off of the 
glam full complete glam click glam 20 will be the code discount code for the 20 the smaller kit and then glam 15 off of every uh, everything in the line so so the first thing we used which was the uh the lip eye and neck treatments there is a kit online which is called my lip eye and neck revitalization set uh and you will be able to use that 15 percent off towards that set i just let you guys know that uh because sometimes people are they they buy all three and there is a set with those three in it so susan thank you very much thank, thank you guys you, for all it was fun yeah it was fun all right you Thanks guys have time. a great great sunday or uh, wherever you may be uh, great evening or afternoon bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.